So friends, this is it. This is this is what we're doing. I hope you're excited because I think you're here. <laughs> Hi there friends, it's me Ryan, and this week two things are happening. One, I'm gonna stop pretending like I don't only wear tank tops in the summer because that would just be lying, so enjoy. And number two, have you ever thought of doing something that you do all the time that's not exactly exciting or interesting, but you just had this idea in your head to make it super complicated and maybe more interesting for no particular reason at all? Same. <laughs> This week, I thought it would be kind of fun to do a big drawing again. When I like how back at them, thanks for watching. This week, I'm going to do a drawing while blindfolded. I I will accept my award for the shortest intro I've ever done. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So let's uh, let's head into the setup and the drawing in the nighttime and the goodbye. You like the dark? Oh, hi. Wow. Here's our basic setup. Now I just need a blindfold and a better camera angle and uh, we're ready to get going, so. I know the camera angle isn't maybe amazing for looking at the drawing, but I promise I'll give you some better shots at it later so that you can just enjoy the process. I Whatever happens is what you'll be enjoying. <laughs> there are two things I have to ensure that this is going to be as chaotic as possible. One is a bag of Sharpies and then the other thing is, uh, well, the other thing is this, which, which I guess looks like nothing. <laughs> this is a band for wrapping like an ice pack or a, a, heat, a heating pad around some part of your body. However, with the Velcro over my eyes, it doubles as a wonderful blindfold because I can't see anything except a bunch of blue. All right, well, I don't know if I'll ever be in frame, but I'm going to do my best while I'm talking to you to face somewhere near you. And um, we'll get started. So I'm going to pick a lovely uh, thicker Sharpie. I want something that's, oh good. The canvas is already failing. I'm sure that's where I want it now. I'm gonna take this color. Uh, you like it? Great. And we're gonna use this to kind of mark out the basis of her, okay. Maybe I should find the edge of my paper. Ah, that's fine. Oh, I've already lost my spot. We are going to go ahead and aim for like, well, let me show you the pose. You know what? Maybe I don't need to explain. I should just show you, because it's going to be very clear and obvious what I wanted to do based on what you're going to see. Let's see. Whoa, we're really far down. <laughs> That doesn't feel correct. Perfect. Let's change colors. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pick another color. Well, actually I don't even know if it's another color. I'm just gonna pick another Sharpie of the same size and get to work on the face. So now what I would do normally is, since I have an idea of where I put the facial features and I've got the basic head shape, I'm gonna kind of redefine the face, facial features. I can't do that bit, I can't do that bit. I can't do that bit because I can't find my way back. Okay, redefining facial features. The top, it feels like the top of the paper keeps moving further away. Is that just... okay. So let's add some color. 
I think that this drawing would really benefit from a lovely this color. Let's assume the eye is somewhere around here. Let's start to add some light. Some dimension, kind of. Leg. Sure. So now that we've got some of the basic shading down, I'm gonna go back in with my... With my this color. Let's just uh, add some detail. All right, so now that we've got this going, let's add, let's add some like fun clothes. We'll need a new color for that. Mm, yes, this is the right color. All right, so it's kind of like detached sleeves, and very flowy, very like elegant, kind of wind goddess vibes, white witch vibes. That's that was the energy I was going for originally. And um, I think we should just pick another color. Ooh, this is a suspiciously thick sharpie. I have a bad feeling about using this one. Let's use it. <laughs> Well, we've got some detailed shading, attemptedly. Thank you, Trash Can, for that marvelous introduction. I think that's about all I can do. It's a simple drawing, but it's, uh, I think we've got all the elements of the drawing that I meant to get in, so, um, I'm just gonna take this off, and oh my god. Wow, isn't that interesting? I... <laughs> Honestly, overall, I think it could have come out a lot worse. I'm impressed that there are discernible features at all, <laughs> to be honest. But um, I'm also a little concerned by my kind of shifting of the face, and there's like a doubling of everything, which just kind of looks terrifying. <laughs> also, I don't, I did not organize my Sharpies. There's literally maybe a hundred in that bag. I don't know how I only picked Earth Tones. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you all with that one, because this is, this is, this is this. This That's what this is. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I uh, appreciate all of your support and I hope to see more and more of you every week still. So don't forget to tell your friends and uh, I hope you enjoy these stupid little ideas of mine even when I make scary Mother Earth ghosts on accident while blindfolded. Okay, take care for now and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye. Woo!